Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. And I'm Ian. And tonight we are in week number five of our Strength and Swings class. I couldn't remember it was week four. Five of our Strength and Swings class where we play with our body weight to get started. And then we have our kettlebell out and we've been working on our get-ups as well as our two-hand swings. If you were with us last week, we progressed from 60 total swings to 70 and this morning this afternoon this evening if it's live it means it's four o'clock we're working towards that number 80, 80 in two sets of 40 to break that down just a little bit i'll be in charge of that body weight warm-up lauren takes those kettlebell skills from there on out so grab a bell let's get a grip on your strength routine and maybe a like or a subscribe to that little bar somewhere down there as well but until we do, let's get those feet going and get right to the floor. That's that ball of the foot hugging to the midline. Cramp up your standing leg. Activate the glute and always those abs or the shield here on the front. Then push your hip through and just do the same thing then on the other side. Knee to the midline, nice and tall. Root the feet. All very useful cues for those kettlebell swings as well. And then hips go through. Do the same thing one more time and just get a little bit of a knee bend this time on the side. And same thing, maybe we hike a hip, pull the hips low, find the position they sit level in, extend through, and a little bit of a rise perhaps, and then a switch to the other side, and a knee bend on the other side now. Hip hike, hip depress, find that level position, pull those femur heads in the sockets for uh, control, and then push through, one little rise, and back down to flat feet. We'll get all the way to the floor this time as you go knees over toes, then from there, Casually lift the heels, knees touch, hips extend, usual pathways for us to get to the floor, and then something just a little bit different here. Let's get into our lunge position, and then get up into the head and the chin. Get a little extension here, and flexion. Repeat one more time, extension, and flexion. And then do our lateral head neck bend, followed by the other side, staying over top of your spine. Once you've done two, let's just switch out the stance and do the same thing then on the other side. So extension, looking up and flexion, looking towards down. As you go through the kettlebell swing, the head might be in between of those two positions, but never entirely in one. And then the ear bend to shoulder, moving the head, but not the neck. Move the head, neck very, very little, and then return to the middle. Let's just pull that leg underneath and then we'll get into some rotations right away with that leg out to the side. First at the head, let's rotate to look over the knee and then turn through the torso following through. Then we'll hinge on the hip, place a hand on the floor and initiate with the head as you would look at the head neck rotation to look at the ground and then turn through that torso or the T-spine. Then look to the wall or I'm looking at Lauren here and then rotate through and just pull that armpit down for us, Lauren. Make sure we can see that difference Which between- one? Both. Yep, both of them for sure, but definitely not right. Shrug it up for us there. Uh, not as much in that middle position, but now pull it down. Awesome. One last time, look at the floor with the head. Rotate through that T-spine. And then one more time, head initiate, torso rotate, then push the floor away and return the head to the center, the rib cage torso, and then that leg. Zippity-doo-dah that underneath, and then same thing now on the other side. So open the leg towards the side. At the head neck, a rotation. Then the rib cage T-spine. We'll hinge on that hip, placing the hand to the floor. At the head now, look to the thumb. Then follow through with the rib cage, aiming to have your sternum or center chest bone face the floor. And then start at the head, rotate, and then rotate through the rib cage. Same thing as before, maybe elevate that shoulder in your ear and then think armpits pulling down to stabilize that movement going forward in the getup. The head rotates one more time to the ground. The rib cage is the next to follow. And final one with the head to the rotate, the shoulders that turn next, and then push through, extending the hip, head first, torso second, legs to follow in suit and a little bit of a shoulder warm up, head and neck warm up, little wrists in there too, and from there. Let's do a quick plank and then we'll stand up, pick those bells up awesome. into our rack position. This plank is meant to engage that tension throughout all of our muscles before we pick up our kettlebells. 
So let's think of that as we go here. Hands will touch down on the floor. Legs will step back, hips will lift. We're squeezing our cheeks, we're pulling down, like we're pulling the floor together underneath of us. Bracing and breathing and breathing, but pulling up our kneecaps so our legs are tight and squeezing our butt cheeks, our abs are tight for three, two, knees down. Whew. Now just flick the floor away and pause here. We'll do that one more time, but right now extend your hips. So hips are pushing forward, but our rib cage is down. Hips are pushing forward, rib cage is down. We're at the top of our kettlebell swing here. Now take your arms out front. Gently protract your shoulder blades forward. Unknown, uh, no, no. Pull your blades back like you would with your kettlebell swing. Cage is down, lats are engaged for three, two. Let's hinge. Place our hands down. Keep that tension as we step back up into a plank. And one more time. Pull the floor together underneath you. Tighten up your legs. Squeeze your cheeks. Pull your shoulders down. Everything's kind of firing up here for five. Three, two, step your feet into your hinge position, pushing your hips back. Assume hinge with vertical shins. Then push down and out on the floor to stand up tall. Let's warm up with a kettlebell here, holding it in our rack position and then to our low position, once on each side with a surprise goblet. But it's not a surprise because I just told you. I'm starting with my lighter bell. I have my heavier bell for swings. This one I'll be using for get ups. You choose, depends on what you got. Hip hinge. One, two, pull, zip, punch that rack position. We've been practicing this position in this hold throughout these past couple of weeks. We're thinking, Pinky towards the ceiling, nice straight wrist, vertical forearm, cage over top of hips, butt cheeks squeezed. We have another eight seconds or so here. We're breathing, we're thinking about pressing this kettlebell. Side, low hold. Right away, Oops. no put downs, <laughs> if you can. Now, here when we're holding this bell low, if we wanted to be lazy, we'd be leaning, but we're not lazy. We're lifting it up. We're pulling that shoulder up and back for three, two, bring it to front, hinge to place it down. Oh, that's work. That is work. Shaking it Good out. Good work. And the same thing on the second side there. So we go in three, two, hip hinge, grip, punch through, hold that rack position. Again, staying square to the front of the room, cages down, thinking about pressing the spell. I have tension in that off arm. My legs are tight. My cheeks are squeezed. These are tight, but I'm breathing underneath. Now two hands, keep it close, put it through, and then bring it to the side. As you're standing on two feet here, you're thinking about pushing down and out on the floor, keeping the hips underneath you, the cage on top, the shoulder elevated, the nice firm grip. We're breathing and holding for three, two, bring it to center, hinge to place it down. Give it a little quarter turn. Whew. We'll take a second and then we'll finish this real routine. Oh, surprise. It's holding it in the not surprise position, the goblet. So over top, hinge grip, pull, catch. A little bit off your body, breathe and hold. I like to think of this position as my standing plank. Imagine pulling the bell apart so you're retracting your shoulder blades. Now keeping your traps low. Could you look through? <laughs> and then bring it back down. One more time, look through. <laughs> casual <laughs> wink there. <laughs> Down. Just a casual wink of 20 I messed up which wink and I, I was looking though. Ah, oh. awesome. So that is more than just a warm up. That's a nice little check in with that kettlebell and your body. Are you feeling great to progress? If so, please join us as we get to the floor, work on half get ups. It's from the floor on our back to that windmill position we practice in the rotation. Lauren will start cueing. I'll enjoy start following. And from there, it swings after. All right, so as promised, we start in that cuddle position. We roll to our back, back pressing that kettlebell here. And then from here, it's an elbow, then a hand, then a bridge, sweep, hold for five, three, two, sweep back through, find your elbow, push away to your back, Hold the bell, pull it down with two hands, place it on the floor, let it go, spin yourself around, and repeat the same thing on the other Have side. Have you been doing get-ups with us every Tuesday at four o'clock for the past three years, or are you brand new? If you're brand new, do it with a pretend load or a very light kettlebell here. 
And if you're with us for the long haul, let's get one get up here on this side. Half. Cuddle, roll, press, half get up. Thank you. We'll drive the hip and pull on the elbow. Toss it is next. And bridge and sweep and hold for a five. Go through that checklist. In particular, is that armpit on the ground connected to the hip. And then sweep through and then find your elbow. And then push off to the ground. Two hands down and return it to the floor. Bunny made it home. Bunny made it home. Oh, one of our two-year-old clients left their bunny. A bunny has been returned safely. Parents will sleep well tonight. Yes. Before we get back to that getup, it's working on the swing. Let's go I go, you go here, just so we can get some more talking points in. As Lauren breaks down this swing, one repetition of a hike, two repetitions of our stop, and then three repetitions of continuous swings. Hike means to the groin of the hips. Then a stop swing is out front. Repeat the stop swing there one more time. Big power on the up and recover with the breath. And now three in a row. It goes from the front to the hike pass. One more time for three and park. I go, you go here. If you rested, let's get going. If you rested, let's get going. That means you're hinging, you're gripping, you're pulling to the zipper, parking. Your pull, one full swing through park. At the top of that swing, think plank, hinge, park. Now three in a row. Each time, shoulders retracted, plank. Hips extended, kidneys down. Butt cheeks squeezed, abs braced. Oh, those are fast thoughts running those through your are, mind. Those are. You might only be able to focus on one at a time, and that's okay. But I always aim to improve the integrity and the power of your kettlebell swing. We're back to the floor now, and we're doing two repetitions of our half get-ups. So it's from the back to the windmill, back to the windmill, repeat on the other side. It starts in the cuddle. We roll and we press, and then hip, drive, pull, find your hand, bridge, sweep, hold, three, two, sweep back through, find your elbow, push a wave to your back, keep the bell up, repeat again, hip, drive, pull, find your hand, bridge, sweep, hold, three, two, sweep back through, find your elbow, Push away to your back, pull the bell down, cuddle, let it go, right spin on. yourself around. Right on. We'll repeat on the other side. That sounds like a good plan. All right. And it goes the cuddle, the roll, and the two-handed press, and they're half get-ups, remember. So we'll drive off the hip to pull on the elbow, the tall sit. Look at the bell as you bridge and sweep and hold for a three, a two and a one, and then sweep and back to the elbow and tight like a board or stiff like a plank or combinations of those to do it again, which is hip drive, tall sit, sweep and hold, three, two, and one, and back to the tall sit. It's returning to the elbow, onto the floor, two hands down, and creative up, maybe that up with no hands and a shake. So as promised, we've been working on progressing our kettlebell swings, volume, as well as technique. And this week, we're working towards 80. We're going to do 80 over the course of two sets. Well, eight four. sets, but <laughs> four. Anyway, right now we're going to do two four sets bands. of 10, and then we'll do some more get-ups, and then we'll do another so four set of 10. If 10 is too many for you, do a number that's less. Make sure swing number one looks like swing number 10. We'll go in our I go, you go fashion. Team Ian gets to start because oh, I still have more to say. Okay. So with those hands on the bell, Team Ian, you're starting with up to 10 swings. Every time those hips drive through, we have that little bit of that exhale to keep the tension. Our hips are extending. We're not straightening at the knees, but bringing the hips over top. Punches in the stomach, punches in the butt, chest Ooh. tight. Lauren makes that pose look so nice in the back. I want to do the same thing. But maybe staying loose in between with shakes is a nice way to stay fresh between sets. I want number one to feel and look like number 10, but I know number 10 is going to feel harder. So it's okay to challenge that heart rate, but maintain the integrity of the moves as Lauren did very nicely right there. So that was Second one set. set down of 10, set number two to go. 
Remember, if you need to skip a set, take a little break, do less. You're the boss. So do what you think. Push it a little bit, but not too much. Making sure you're ending nice and strong with some gas in the tank, because you'll still have life tasks to do. Hmm. The breathing match. We could talk about that breathing match with the swingers and those who are resting in slow and out even slower if you can. Maintain that loose feeling in between, but now we're squeezing the blades together, cramping the glutes, we're racing the shield, and we need to do the same thing as we get ready for set three. Set number three of four here. So getting towards the number 30, I'm seeing this. Shake it out. That's what the block was about. It was about shaking it out. So here we go. We had lots of tension in those 10 swings. And one must relax in between to be able to tension again. The blog was about shaking it out and say phrases that we say in the studio here, but also the ability to not feel pain. Right now I do have some mental pain going on that I have to get through the fourth set coming up, but I'm feeling good, feeling challenged, but no pain. If it hurts, be done for the day. Oh, set number four here, everyone. A big breath in and big breath out to recover. If you're Ian, you're still matching your breath. It's a little stressed. It's a little taxing. Ooh, tis the season. It's a tax joke for the year. Yes, Lauren accounts for all the bad jokes told, but not all of them. I tell bad jokes as well. But the benefit of starting first is you get to be done first. So let's take those extra couple seconds to rest or look at Lauren's form and say, yeah, that looks pretty darn good. Finish with integrity, forget the number, and let's just collectively catch our breath together here. In through the nose nice and slow. Exhales as well. Repeat an inhale nice and slow. Exhales follow. One more just like that. Breathe in nice and slow as you can. Fall with a nice exhale. And this time when you breathe in, let's hold it for four. And a slow exhale for four. And a hold empty for four. And a breathe in. And a slow back out. Give your body that feedback that it's okay to stress the heart rate and recover with some breathing techniques similar to those. So we did our get-ups from the bottom up earlier today. And now we're going to perform those get-ups from the top down, which means we get to press the kettlebell yes. over the head. And if you like presses, join us at our Thursday class. We press and plie. Yay. Just want to plug So right now, there. great. Right now is a half get-up down. To that windmill position. So we're standing over top of our bell. We will use our two-handed sheet clean to get to the rack position. We'll get our muscles ready and we'll press this bell overhead. Ready? Yep. Inhale. Pick up and press kettlebell. Leg you can touch steps back. Step open. Windmill hinge hold. Three, two, push it through. Square up. Both legs, pull bell down with control, two hands, place down. Nice. Shake it out, repeat on that second side. Over top of the bell, hip hinge grip, pull, punch through, step back lunge, open up, rotate hinge, no sweeping, for three, come back up, two, push the hips through, Square up, stand up, pull bell down, place bell down. I know personal trainers can't count, but I didn't know we couldn't listen either. So we'll get that the next time. But the next time, it's now one press on that original side and two repetitions of down to the windmill, back up, and repeating on the other side. Two. You ready to go, Lauren? Always. Me, too. And me, if I talk this one through, I'll be accountable to what I do here. So it's one kettlebell press overhead with the high tension as we can. Then the leg we touch drops back. We open up, 
We will hinge and just hold for that three second count. And then press through, square up the lunge, tall stand. Let's leave that bell overhead and drop down in your lunge. Open up in the windmill, hinge and find the floor. And then press away, squaring up, tall standing, and think slow down. Very hard to go slow. After so much time in that loaded static position, take your time, be careful with it always. Same thing, second Ooh. time. One press, two half get ups, hip hinge, grip, pull to rock, bells up, step back, lunge, step open, rotate, use your hinge so it's a soft landing, then press back up, square up, stand up. One more time, step back, lunge, open, rotate, hinge, three, two, push back through, Square up, both legs, vertical forearm pull down, park bell. Nice. Ooh -wee. I believe that we are three quarters done today's workout. We've done all the get ups for the day. We've done half of the swings. So we have one more set of 40 swings. And let's enjoy going second team, Ian, and make that team Lauren go first. Strong first. 10 and nine. Count up, count down. What is your strategy to make sure that you get all those reps and that each rep is feeling as strong as the one before it? Always looking awesome on that team, Lauren, swinging around that 24 kilogram bell. In someone else's words, one heck of a woman. I think it was I what agree. a piece of woman. Oh, but even better, even better. I'll here take the go. comments as I get them. <laughs> 10 swings here for Team Ian if we're off. We're shaking. The legs can shake. The cheeks can shake. The shoulders can shake. The jaw can shake. Last couple reps. And we're getting ready for set number two. Whew. That's ten. Set number two. Stay fresh. Your grips might be fatiguing by now, and that's okay. Make sure you do have that nice firm grip on the kettlebell, and you can safely hike it, swing it, and ultimately park it back down to the ground. Shake it out. I mean, my shakes aren't as cool as Lauren's, but stay loose. And now that's up to do it again. All right, team man. Second set. We're taking in that break breath and exhale it out. And big breath in and exhale it out. So that when Ian's done, we are calm. We're chilling. We're ready to set three. Whew. Or we're pretending we are. Hmm. Letting yourself have that slow breath can reinforce that it's okay. Although I think we're all under stress at this moment. Work stress, but more specifically, this workout stress. Practice intensely. You have a couple more minutes to go here. And then you can go on and celebrate the rest of your day. That's set three already. Let's do it. We can do this. Team in set three here. Remember, if 10 is too many, do less. Make sure every swing is still a hinge, not a fold, not a bend, not a fringy thing, but a hinge every time. Power comes from here, stops you here, avoid here. Say fringe? Yeah, it's like a hinge meets a fold. Foldy hinge. Yeah, we don't want that. Very strict on what we do here because it's safe and strong. When we hinge, we're able to use the hips. We're loading the abs, protecting the low back, and extending with those glutes. If we fringe, it's too much stress on that low back. So make sure the stress that you're feeling is, again, between the feet and the floor, the glutes, the hips, and the abs. Not Team Ian. So Last is set. set. 80 swings today for everyone. Or thereabouts. Shoulders are retracted. Abs are still tight at the top. Hips are still fully through. Still a strong exhale. Punches all around. Butt squeezes for friends only. Woo. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Place the bell down. Let's take a nice breath in. And an exhale. And a nice breath in. And an exhale. And a breath in. And an exhale. And breath in. And an exhale. And then a breath in. And a hold. And an exhale. 
and a breath in and a hold and an exhale and a hold and a relax now we're not quite done yet surprises all the time surprise it's okay, it's okay. we like it we are going to finish with what we started with which was around those heavy holds rack low rack low goblet done ready got it over top of your bell hip hinge pull zip punch hold breathing i like to think of this as being at the top of my chin up so my elbows are in my cage is over top i'm breathing suddenly this bell feels oh it is heavier because i'm using the heavier <laughs> bell for three two two hands tight to the body low oh. rack hold I can't oh. follow instructions. Oh. You can't read today. Oh my goodness. So I didn't switch my bells out. I wondered why 20 seconds was feeling so long. It's because I'm holding four kgs more. For five, three, two, to the front. Put it down. But now I'm stuck with it. What you do to one side, one must do to the other. We'll go in five, three, two, pull to rack, punch through, hold. Wear it on your abs, wear it on your hips, wear it on your cheeks, breathe. Oh, good. I can't talk as much. Five, three, two, keep it in your hand. Tight, but off your body, not letting yourself twist. Keep that firm grip. It's the end of the class, so it's a little sweaty, which means your grip is gonna have to work even harder. Keep your eyes up and your head on straight. Five, that should be a greeting card. Three, two, hips to the front. Hinge, sorry, belt to the front hinge. One more hold, because Lauren said so. It's that goblet in the front, like that standing plank. So stand over top of the bell, grab it like deadlift, preload, and zip up the body and catch in the goblet. And then from here, retract the shoulders, squeeze your glutes, lean forward just that little bit. And for a 10 second bonus, look through that window for making sure the tension is again on your back and shoulders and abs and not your low back. And then let's return it to the floor, stand up, say goodbye to the bell and goodbye to you in the audience and the following crowd here doing live or archive strength and swings with Lauren and me, Ian. Thank you for joining us tonight. As promised on Thursday at 4 p.m., we'll press some more kettlebells and work on that hip strength and mobility with exercises that look like they should be easy but are not. Nope. On Saturday, easy. we'll practice with our body weight strength, progressing our, our crawls, our rolling, and ultimately towards our handstand. In the meantime, check out all those videos on YouTube. Like and subscribe. And take care. Stay strong. And let's train soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye.